वेलकम टू दी आस्क पैट्रिक सीरीज टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज बाई रवि चौरसिया दिस क्वेश्चन इज वॉट शुड आई डू इफ आई एम स्टक विथ टू ऑप्शन इन द कैट पेपर ओके लेट्स इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम यू नो सेक्शन टू सेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर सीज इफ इफ आई एम स्टक विथ टू ऑप्शन आई विल ट्राई टू मार्क अ आंसर विच इज क्लोजेस्ट टू यू नो सेंट्रल आइडिया और वॉट आई फील कट फील because what happens in rc is you have read the passage so you have some idea of what the answer can be so marking an answer there is some probability of going right right also normally what i recommend is in a two option paper do mark the answer because probability of getting positive marks is higher and just for calculating i mean there is a 50% probability of going right and wrong so if question goes right you'll get three marks question goes wrong you'll get minus one mark Overall, the probability is that you'll get one mark if you mark the answer, as long as you shortlisted two option. So mark the answer for sure. That is for sure. When you shortlisted two option, do mark the answer. But when you're marking the answer, don't waste time on it. You anyway guess marking it, and on that if you waste your time, it doesn't make sense. So don't waste time. Have some idea about how to mark, mark and move forward. That's how I would consider. So in RC section, as I said, if you shortlisted two option. i would look at directly which is closest to central idea mark and move forward that's what i have made a plan you can have your own idea about how to go about it because in rcs you have read the passage so you have some gut feel to know how to solve for quant maybe for dlr it may it may be some other parameter maybe i look at multiple and mark the answer or i'll directly mark the answer without wasting time there's no point wasting time in that right if there's a multiple i normally may look out for multiple because there's chance that a multiple may give you the answer but if there is no such thing don't waste time just mark one and move forward maybe later on if you want you can come back to it afterwards and check it up okay rule again for the two options left definitely mark because the probability of getting positive marks is there in any section and second rule is that don't waste time on it and after the exam come back to those question and check out why did you mark one for the other and how would you have marked the correct answer and then form your own rules with regard to marking answers when you have shortlisted two options i hope that helps thank you